Okay, I guess we're going to try for episode 9 or 10 or whatever episode we're at, now, at right now. Kind of hard to tell. Um, Health-wise, things have taken a little bit of a different turn. Uh, apparently, it seems I'm nursing a kidney stone. Uh, two years ago, I had my first kidney stone, and it was a different kind of painful. Most people just talk about being just an, an excruciating pain. For me, it was just more like constant lower back pain I couldn't get rid of. Uh, more than just like aching all over. Um, that was another part of it for me. Uh, the biggest thing was at some point, I my urine got really dark. That I started drinking more. It got clearer. And the next thing I know, I just started throwing up a lot. Um, and then I threw up so much, I had to go to the ER. And after a bunch of tests, um, they determined that I definitely had a kidney stone. And after that, for the next week or whatever until... Uh, was it, I couldn't pass it, and I was at that point, my urine had turned into the color of tea. It was very brown, very reddish. Um, so, I mean, I was losing blood in, in the urine every time I went to go to the bathroom. And so, I knew what to, I now know what to look for. I'm kind of seeing some of the same signs and patterns much earlier. So, that tells me I need to really change a few things health-wise. Um, doing the research, it looks like it's a, another calcium stone, which... That's what I had last time. I'm like, well, how can that be? I mean, I thought calcium is good for you. It's in milk and dairy. It's good, right? Uh, kind of, but no. Um, so if you have too much sodium, which sodium is bad because I have blood pressure. And it's in everything. So I apparently have had some higher sodium level foods, which is, well, everything. Uh, if it doesn't come from the ground, it's got sodium in it. And if it does come from the ground and somebody else cooks it, it's got sodium. So uh, after too much sodium, excess sodium, it uh, leaves calcium deposits, which turn into stones, and that's kind of what I'm dealing with. So that is uh, where I'm at once again. So I may have to totally change a few what to do in the health wise. Just, I feel like crap a lot. I haven't taken a lot of pain meds. I just took hope. Um, I'm dealing with nausea a lot. Um, there's sometimes I just don't feel like eating because I'm afraid I'm going to throw up. Um, so I try to eat, eat smaller amounts, try to eat closer to regular real foods instead of processed foods. It's still a little bit of a balance. Like today for dinner, I had two small, those 25 cent bag worth of chips. I had two of those, but I had some carrots, just some raw carrot sticks. I had several of those and a couple of spoonfuls of olives. I get the, the Spanish queen olives, the big ones. Oof. I mean, you give me jar pickles or olives, yes, but sodium, you just, you just can't seem to get away from it. Um, but that's all I really had. It wasn't a whole lot. So uh, that was actually kind of good, I guess. Um, so I guess the next couple of days, it's going to be a lot about me figuring out what I can do to heal my body in this process to keep me from having to go to the hospital because I can't afford another trip to the ER. Um I really can't. I don't have any insurance, and this is going to cost me a lot. Um, so I've got to uh, make some changes here. So I'll be drinking more water. Um, I want to go get uh, just like lemon juice and just put a lot of lemon juice in water um, because apparently the lemon juice really kind of helps break some of that down. I'll be drinking the last, even yesterday I was trying to drink lemon water out for lunch. I decided to, instead of getting a drink, I just got lemon water with lemons. It worked out really great. Um, they actually gave me lemon wedges, which helped. Uh, then last night for dinner, I had to beg, ask three times. So I asked them, just bring me a bowl of lemon wedges because apparently you're not going to listen to me because I've asked three times for lemons and you never brought them. Um, so I'm going to leave that restaurant to be unnamed. Um, but even like today for lunch, I went to, um, I guess we'll call them Cowboy Hat. Um, they are Cowboy Hat. Yeah, Cowboy Hat would be a good name for them. Like, Famous Fried Chicken. You know, I'm not going to say the real name. I'm going to try to be nice and see if anybody catches on. Um, and then the other one was, on, oh, yeah, Dairy Royalty. Ugh. Where they serve cups of diabetes, I think some of these other places, well, I don't want to, for Cowboy Hat, I don't want to be mean to them. Because Cowboy Hat's got some really good products. They have their versions of sliders. Oh, my gosh, they're so good. Um... You know, I mean, they got some good deals. I mean, I'm going to be a little protective of Cowboy Hat, just a little bit. 
Um, but they, um, they had this one. They, oh my gosh, it had chicken, it had brisket, it had like it was a ham or turkey. It's probably ham. And then the little fried onion thingies and um, all kinds of this tangy barbecue sauce and even had bacon. It was like, it was good, but it was just so salty. I just couldn't handle it. So I got rid of the bun. Hey, low carbs, bonus points for low carbs, right? Yes, small changes. I, yesterday for lunch, I had water with lemon, small changes. Last night for dinner, I had water with lemon, small changes. So today I had, uh, you know, whatever the new the monthly gluten special is, what the, I took the bun off. <laughs> hmm, pardon me. Small changes, very good. I may need to make a lot more small changes and bigger changes. Um, I kind of also noticed my voice is a little higher, I guess. I'm a little more excited about or more passionate about the topic today uh, because, you know, how the kidney stones suck. Um, but just making these smaller changes, I mean, doing something different, trying to be ahead of it. So for lunch, I went out and went to the store. I got the lemon juice. I'll be trying that a lot more. Um, I've also got the apple cider vinegar, which is really rough, uh, very acidic. Um but it's supposed to help out a lot with that. Um, I hate that it's come to this again, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. Um, and who knows, maybe these, maybe this is what I need. This is like the reset. Two years ago, when I had the kidney stone, I also had some type of infection. Um, I was messed up. I had over 100 degree fever for a week. Um, for at least from out of know of Sunday until about Thursday, and it wasn't until my Friday morning until it finally broke. Um, and I felt like crap, uh, and it finally broke. Um, but in those 16 days, I lost like 20 pounds. Um, it wasn't long. Um, I did, I just kept losing weight and losing weight and losing weight. Um, and that was rough for me because as I was coming out of it. And trying to heal, I was trying to want to try to feel better, get back to editing some of my photos. To find out that one of the models I just shot weeks prior had committed suicide. Um, so these are just a lot of memories for me, you know. Um, just about life. Um, that even just trying to look ahead of what what's on my plate, there are a lot of changes coming. Um, a lot, uh oh, here we go. We're about to have a cameo if he doesn't tear everything up. Um, so, he, uh, yeah, this is Rocco. Yes, Rocco, I'm talking about you. Now, go behave and leave me alone while I do this, please. Yeah, this is Rocco. He apparently loves attention. Uh, but just some changes coming up. And... Just trying, like I said, keep the health, keep doing something where I can reach out to others and maybe be, you know, um, be an inspiration to others. Uh, maybe they, you know, other people can, oops, there we go. <laughs> maybe others can use some of this for their own journey. Um, so anyways, I'm just going to, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. Um. Just kind of letting everybody know that don't stop. Uh, even do the small changes. Um, even in the middle of the, the storm. That's, I guess right now, kidney stone would definitely include just counts as a storm. We'll count the small changes and bless them. But don't stop. Don't forget them. Because those small changes will compound into two changes and more. Um, those changes, if done enough, will become habit. And just be just like breathing and drinking water, which I need to do. So, um, oh, and the downside is all the, the sparkling water and the fizzy water that I like. Apparently, that's not good for the kidneys either, um, which sucks. Because my, but it's water, um, but apparently it's not really good for it. Um, so, um, I've got to, I don't know, got to make a few more changes. Um, so... Actually, I'll hear from others that have had kidney stones. And please don't just say drink more water, because I already know that. <laughs> um, but if I drink too much, I'll start throwing up. So tell me, what are some ways that you got over it? What are some ways that you kind of made it through? And I know kidney stones are severity differs for everybody. 
me, it's an annoying pain. It's not that bad. I don't want to kill over and die like I've heard most people. But man, it will drain and take everything out of me. And what, what was scary is when I started throwing up and I couldn't stop throwing up. I'm like, I've got no control over this. That's when I got scared because what I couldn't control it anymore. I can, hey, if I can take, take Advil, go to bed early, just chill out. I've got control. But just kind of like being really drunk. The few times that I have been really drunk. Um, I've only been drunk like twice in my life, really. Won't do it again. Um, I hate losing that much control. So, at least you, you know, kind of like the training for accept the things you can change. You know, just kind of, and that's for the curtain knowledge, wisdom to know the difference of what you can and cannot change. So, uh, yeah, just look at that, folks. What can you change? Can you change it and do, make something better about it? Even if it's small, change it enough and just drink some water. Or going from sweet tea to unsweet tea and just doing that for a little bit. Start with something simple. Start it and keep on it. So we're on day two of Waterthon of 5,000. So hopefully we'll I'll have water on day three. So <laughs> anyways, guys, take care. God bless.